um, uh, thing here, Banks, but I think we're ready. We are ready indeed. It is time for your second matchup of today's sec uh, third qualifier, day two. It's Nova going up against Queen Walkers. That's right, Banks. And we're going to have Juan from Nova Esports coming in with something we haven't seen yet so far a Queen Charge Lalo attack. So, looking to get some massive value from this Queen Charge. We do see the super two super wall breakers to try to get this Queen deep inside this base, pull off that clan castle, get to those scatter shots. Maybe even the enemy world champion if she steps up. What are you looking at for this one here, Judo? Well, I've got to say, it's a very quick start by Juan, who did struggle with his attack yesterday, only getting the 89%, struggling with time, and he has funneled either side of the Queen very quickly, taken out the multi-inferno and pulled the clan castle troops with only 50 seconds gone. He's looking pretty good here, Bash. Yeah, definitely a strong start. Needs the Queen to step up into this pocket, and it looks like she might go over to this oh, evil no. compartment, and she's going to do just that. Oh, here she comes back! <laughs> Queen can't make up her mind, Judo! She's all over the place. Now she's getting fired on from that single. He's going to have to use a free spell to ensure that the Queen stays up, and this wall, wall breaker, breaker is not going to cooperate. The wall breaker goes over and opens up the single compartment, but the Queen decides to break in further and going to force out another free spell as that Inferno was burning her down. Yeah, just a slight misplacement of the Super Wall Breaker. Obviously, would have took the Queen to that area if it had have targeted the different wall. So one tries to send in the Royal Champion, knows that time is now ticking. He is using an extensive Queen Charge, but with the Eagle Artillery down, the Queen getting to the next scatter shot, there's not a lot left for the Lava Loon, and the Tornado Trap has been activated as well, Bash. There's not a ton left on this base. The Queen taking down both scatter shots, the clan castle, the eagle artillery, the infernos, and here comes the Lalo. Not a ton of balloons on this one, but doesn't need a ton as most of the heavy defenses are down from that Queen charge. As she's beaten on a wall, those balloons are gonna make their way to the clan castle. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome gonna protect the balloons, and they have no issue getting the town hall down. However, we do have the enemy queen and enemy royal champion firing on these balloons need to be dealt with as soon as possible, Judo. Press the Queen's ability. He needs to get the multi-inferno down to protect the balloons. Oh no, they are crashing to the ground. And with 30 seconds left, you can't help but think it might just be a little bit too much for the Archer Queen now, Bash. Yeah, between that multi-inferno, the enemy queen and the royal champion, those balloons stood no chance. They were getting shot down one by one and five at a time with the inferno. It was rough for them to hang in there, but still a very respectable percent as we work closer towards that 90% mark, most likely 87-ish here as that last building's gonna go down. Maybe 88, that archer almost has that last building. 87% there for one, a crazy huge queen charge, but the Lalo not able to get through the rest of the base. Yeah, well, sometimes time is the factor. We've got to remember, it is only three minutes, so you can be as effective as you want with the queen, but if the Lava Loon doesn't have enough time, then it is history. The balloons did struggle towards the back end though, Bash. We can see on the replay, with the air sweeper pushing the balloons back, they ended up just going down and leaving the attack vulnerable. Yeah, he did have a headhunter or two in that army comp, but I didn't see maybe they got taken out before they were able to get into that warden's ability. But that enemy queen and royal champion, they did massive amounts of work with that last inferno. I heard you signaling for the uh, queen ability to get popped, but she was also stuck on some air skeletons. So tough break there for Juan. We're gonna have Akira coming in for the queen walkers next, and it looks like we're gonna have a hybrid attack. And this is kind of what we saw yesterday, a heavy minor uh, hybrid attack so far, we do have the Siege Barracks selected, so we may see more hogs out of that Siege Barracks as this Queen Walk gets going. Yeah, we could do, and Queen Walkers, they want to have a solid start here. Let's remember, yesterday they had three three stars right out of the gates, and Akira used virtually this attack strategy, pretty much the same composition, and did get the three stars. Very nicely takes down the first single target Inferno, has a good funnel set for the Queen now moving into the base, and just being patient on the next Super Wall Breaker, but it targets the outside wall bash. I think he wanted it to target the Arch tower and the inside wall 
Yeah, an unfortunate break there. It's trying to get the queen towards that town hall, but now she's gonna be stuck on the Lava Hound. And we also have an archer targeting the healers now. Oh, we also have that scatter shot raining in shots on the queen. The poison spell gets those lava pups down. Can she get over towards the scatter shot? She is gonna be stuck on a wall, but we're gonna have to see this hybrid coming in very soon. We'll have that siege barracks in the hybrid moving in any moment now. Trying, I think he's trying to wait for the queen to get to that scatter shot, yeah? I think he is, but the healers are getting picked off by the Archer Tower and they are down. That is it. Now, how crucial is the scatter shot? Because Akira wasted the healers to get it, so we will have to find out. And with the Siege Barracks not quite setting up the funnel to the left hand side, where are the miners going to go? He needs this town hall to at least secure the two stars. Yeah, the miners are going to come back, get the town hall. Rage spelled through the, the miners and the hogs right there. And the royal champion is going to support them through the top side. We do have the hogs working around the outside, but that last scatter shot and the eagle are being such a pain. If he can get to that eagle, get to that scatter shot, it's going to be set up really nicely. And the queen goes oh. down here from the cannon, but still lots of troops. Look at this, Judo. We got it hogs is. to the top. We got a lot of miners still up. We got that royal champion. She doesn't have her ability. Oh, and the single locks onto the royal champion. She, she gonna go down really quickly but is there enough here judo this has still got a shot oh there's a lot of miners oh no. there's a lot of miners they take down the single target inferno the hog riders are coming through surely this is going to be the three star but we do have two cannons we have two teslas the grand warden is trying to help with support with 30 seconds we need the rest of the troops across here bash the percentage is going higher we are ever so closer to the three stars is it going to happen though bash it's right there judo here come those last few troops the miners up top cleaned up and here we go the last two buildings are gonna go down akira with another triple with the hybrid what a nice attack great patience there on that queen charge oh my goodness banks that was beautiful that is how you kick off your war in day two of the third qualifier for the Clash of Clans World Championships. Queen Walkers stomping their foot down and saying, here we are, 100% triple back capture. Come on, Judo, what do you think? Well, he took his time to get the scatter shot. We were questioning how crucial that would be. And you can see that with only one scatter shot left, it meant the hybrid was able to push up to it. And you can see the heal spell on the replay right next to the scatter shot and the eagle. Two of the key defenses to make sure you're protecting your hogs and miners through bash. Yeah, that one was so, so close. What actually helped it was a few of those miners split up and took out those buildings, the trash buildings up top, so the cleanup was done. But like, like you mentioned, the great patience there to get that scatter shot down. I was worried, as you were calling out, that the, the funnel wasn't set too great for the hybrid, but it was set just enough to get through there. So Nova Esports is going to have to respond with a triple of their own. We're going to have Ogren John coming in with a Zap Yeti attack here. So we'll see a Warden Walk start this one off to set the funnel and then most likely we'll zap out a, a scatter shot or maybe some other key defenses let's we'll just see what he decides to do with those five lightning spells no gonna go for the single inferno down there mm. at the bottom so maybe push those yetis right through the scatter shots in the middle of the base yeah, that looks like what he is doing. And it's interesting that Nova have swapped out their attacking lineup, choosing one to attack first. Ogran actually attacked first yesterday with this strategy getting the three star. So I wonder if that just came down to confidence of the bases. Maybe Ogran wanted a little bit longer to prep. And let's see whether that does indeed pay off for them. With the Grand Warden walk, we commonly talk about the one minute mark, making sure you don't time fail because he can be a little bit slow. And we are getting to that stage. Here comes the Ice Golem and the rest of the troops bash. The funnel is already set. A nice use of the super wall breaker to open up that wall and notice the Yeti and Minion down there on the bottom side to make sure the other Yetis and the bowlers go inside. The bowlers are gonna go ahead and activate the town hall and we got the King and the Siege Barracks dropping in the bottom side just off screen. And here we go, Rage Spell through the town hall. Town hall falls, goes down without issue. So use the Zaps to get that single out so maybe the King could get more value and push these troops through this base. And here we go, the Yetis are pushing through strong. Those Lava Pups causing a little bit of a delay, but the first scatter shot goes down. Judo, if he can get to this last compartment with the Eagle and then to the scatter, this is looking really solid. It looks very good. I, I love the position of the jump spell. It actually 
gave him access right to the far compartment, which might not have been something you initially looked at. So very good recognition there, getting the Yetis through. They have gone down. There's still a scatter shot active, but like you said, Bash, we have the Queen's ability, which is just going off, the Royal Champion's ability. He still has a chance here, but with a lot of defenses, it is going to be a close one. Yeah, just fizzled out in the middle of the base. I think that top scatter shot was just a bit too much. We do have a couple Yetis, but notice that the baskets on their backs are empty, so there are no more Yeti Mites. And looks like that Yeti on the outside does have a few Yeti Mites left, but here comes a real champion. She still has her ability. Remember, she'll be able to one-shot that Archer Tower, the Teslas. Can she get through and secure these last few defenses? Judo, this is going to be really close. Oh. World Champion's ability is going to come in any second. Here it goes. Judo, can this get through the final defenses? Oh, it's pretty close. She was so protected with all of the wizards and the witches. That was the game changer. But because she's a defense targeting troop, she ran out in front. The expo is behind the wall and going to be shooting at these troops all of the time. With 10 seconds bash, it's going to be a close one. I don't think there's any Yeti mites left in the basket to jump over the wall. Four seconds, three seconds. Don't tell me it's going to be a 99. Oh, it's 98 percent for Nova Esports. Oh, the heartbreaker there. Just not quite enough. That Royal Champion just needed a little bit more to get through there. She was so close. Oh, man. She popped that Seeking Shield, but she did not hit any of those defenses. She could one-shot, so she got caught up and taken out. But we see that initial surge right through the middle of this base. Oh, man. I thought he had enough to get through there, but just not quite enough. The 98% Still a really high percentage, like I've mentioned in the past. Every percent counts, so if you're going to not get that triple, try to get that highest percent as possible. But Nova's still going to be searching for that elusive three-star as we're going to have Queen Walkers coming in with their stacking attack. And we're going to have Stodger coming in. Stodger actually had a triple yesterday with the Yetis, a similar comp to this one. Yeah, he did. He opened it up with these lightning spells, which it looks like he's going with the battle blimp today. So let's see if he can have the same kind of success. Has to use a rage spell early on, which I'm sure he predicted because of the Grand Warden statue. Nicely finds a black bomb with the balloon, but the battle blimp is stuck in the tornado trap and it's not going to reach the town hall bash. Oh, it oh, finally it gets through, <laughs> Juno. It barely held on there. The Coco Loon getting down that one seeking air mine was massive. Notice that the Battle Blimp is also going to pull out the Clan Castle troops so that the Queen can disperse them. But now the Queen is locked onto by that single target Inferno. And here we go with all the Yetis pushing into the middle of the base. We'll have a jump to get through. Can the Queen hang on here and get down these Lava Pups? Those Lava Pups can be so menacing to the end of the attack, but it looks like the healer's getting her back up to full health, and she'll have no problem. Here come the Yetis charging through the middle of this base, Judo. Oh, the difficulty is that the healers are on the Queen, and he needs them on the Yetis and Bowlers. They are taking a huge amount of damage, and that's it. It looks like they are virtually down. He has one or two. No, there they go. You need the healers on the troops. Got a little bit unfortunate there, Stadra, in terms of the Lava Hound just wasting the healers on the Queen. But that's exactly why Nova Esports will have had that troop on defense. You always want to try and trip your opponent up, and you can do that with the traps, with the tornado trap, which nearly tripped up the battle blimp, and the clan castle troops. Stadra just trying to rescue any kind of percent now, Bash. Yeah, this one was all over the place. That tornado was almost devastating. And you're right, the queen needing to be healed back up wasn't allowing those healers to switch off. But we still have that royal champion working through here with their ability. Gonna try to get this up into the 80%. So uh, they're gonna, you know, still be close on the final percentage. And it looks like that royal nice champion ability. is gonna be able to do just that. Get this over the 80% mark. And if it weren't for that single inferno, this could have a chance. I don't know, there's still three witches. Time's gonna be an issue. But this one's going to be really close to getting into the 90s, yeah. you know. This one is going to be close, and I've got to say, Stadra really used his uh, Royal Champion's ability perfectly there. Normally, we would see that to try and help get through the single target Inferno, but recognizing the Witches on the outside of the base, knew he had to protect them, so he used it to get through the scatter shot. Even if he doesn't get the three-star, he knows the Witches can clear out even more defenses on the interior and the trash buildings on the outside, getting up into the 90% here, Bash. 
Yeah, this one looked like it was going to die out really quickly, but we saw holding that Royal Champion was massive. And these three witches, we, we've seen this be a thing during this qualifier where we have three witches in there to support the, the king and the siege barracks, able to push this up into the 90s. 93% there for Stadra from Queen Walkers. Yes, an extremely strong start from Queen Walkers. Still, we've had a triple and we've had a 93% two star. You know, Nova Esports do have a little bit of grounds to cover. However, it's still very high in terms of their percentage. So don't count them out at all. It's just that additional star that they're going to try and look to claim back judo. Absolutely. You can't write anybody off at this stage in the war. We're, we're not even halfway through, and we know what happened yesterday in the Nova and Goethe war. The incredible performance we've seen by them. So you never know what can happen. Nova have got everything to fight for here. Yes, and we're going to have React coming in with a Zap Lalo. We have five lightning spells with an Earthquake. We've seen this take out single target Infernos. We've seen this take out Scatter Shots, and we're going to take out a Scatter Shot, an Expo, and an Air Sweeper so that that initial charge from the heroes. But look at this. We also have a Golem. I was going to say initial charge from the heroes. This is actually going to look like a small kill squad, meaning going to commit a little bit of troop space to get the proper value with the heroes. So we got a Yeti in there. We got a Golem in there. It'll be interesting to see where this Golem comes in to support this push, Judo. Yeah, it will be interesting. And I love that he got a bit of damage on the queen. Even if he doesn't take the queen down with the initial kill squad, he can take the queen down a lot easier. Now, I love when we asked a lot of the players before the qualifiers the questions, React said he just enjoys playing the game. And it all comes down to that. If you're enjoying the game, you're going to be able to put the time and effort in, which we know Nova Esports put a lot of effort in saying that they they actually put up to eight hours a day in which is incredible and the archer queen is down bash the golem is tanking for the queen who has her ability still this looks pretty good it was a nearly perfect king ability there to get the queen down get down that eagle artillery and set the queen up to push in here and you notice those two headhunters come in to take out the enemy royal champion this is looking like an amazing start to this attack getting huge amounts of value here comes that royal champion in to get that multi-target inferno out and she was try to get as many buildings down as that seeking shield comes through but here we go with the lalo starting out royal champion stuck on a few skeletons but she's going to be able to bounce off them and hop to a few defenses stone slammer selected here judo so a little bit risky gonna have to work our way towards that town hall yeah, the beautiful thing about the Stone Slammer is look at it tanking the scatter shot. It is getting a little bit of crash damage onto the balloons, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it means the scatter shot is not getting huge damage to the balloons, but they've tracked around it. That is going to be incredibly crucial. We've got one balloon trying to get to it, and if it gets on the inside, it can take it out by itself. That is hugely important to this raid bash. Yeah, that balloon is going to be able to get the scatter down. The rest of the balloons are crushing the base. The warden's ability was perfect. And the, oh my goodness, this one is going to be smashed. React getting the three star that Nova was looking for. Judo, I don't know if you noticed on this one, but the clan castle wasn't dealt with. Took the risk that there was a lava hound in the clan castle. And it appears like there was. I saw a couple of headhunters come out, but perhaps there was a lava hound in here. And the, the gamble pays off for React. Scouting out Queen Walkers, knowing that they love to run a ton of Lava Hound clan castles, not having to deal with that with the heroes, and it pays off with the massive triple here. Nova Esports getting the answer they need. This one is neck and neck, back and forth. These two teams giving it their all to move into that playoff. They are giving it everything they have, and now we have a crucial attack by the Queen Walkers. They still are ahead on percentage, but after seeing this attack, the power of the balloons just wrecking their base, will it unsettle them a little bit, Bash? I'm sure they have nerves of steel, though. They still do have the attack, and if they get a three-star now, they still maintain their lead, but you'd always want to have the three stars on the board. You never know what's going to happen. Right, it's always better to get those three stars early than need to wait till that last attack. And we're going to have one of the best attackers in the game, Gaku, coming in with a drag bat attack. We haven't seen too many dragons uh, in this qualifier yet. We did see one from Queen Walkers, but that was Klaus yesterday. And it was just straight up dragons, no bats. So generally with this, we're going to try to get out as many of the splash defenses as possible and get a huge path set up for those bats to come in late and sweep through this base. 
Yes, and he's using his heroes early on, which is very sensible with a dragon attack. You really need to set up the funnel for the dragons. Remember, dragons are troops that attack anything. So for that reason, you have to set up the funnel, similar to miners, in fact, where you take out the entire buildings. And that's where the king on the outside taking the trash, the royal champion, didn't quite get the scatter shots, but he still has the... Oh, he's used the archer queen to the top, trying to set up that funnel. It is going to be interesting to see how he adapts, though, for the scatter shot. And that scatter shot just barely hanging on there. It does not have very much health, but using those heroes to kind of split the base in half, or not in half, rather, <laughs> set the pathing rather at the top and the bottom of the base. Here come those dragons right through the middle. But remember, like you said, that last scatter shot did not go down from the world champion. So the sto stone slammer is going to go over there and disperse of it. We do have the warden's ability popped on those dragons as they get the town hall down. Will they take any damage? Oh, it looks like the the uh, eternal tome from the warden was just long enough. And here we come with the bats supporting this dragon push through the base. First free oh, spell. Perfect goes down on that wizard tower exactly as you said perfect there judo perfect and oh there's a red ball it's took out oh. all the bats oh no gaku will be screaming that is hugely important for this raid the bats are gone it doesn't matter that he put the freeze spells in perfectly they go down and this is exactly what nova esports needed bash that was looking so good but one Air bomb just ruined the whole attack. Oh my goodness, this was gonna be so close to a three star, if not a high 80, 90% attack. Instead, this will open the door for Nova now to answer and take the lead with a very low percentage attack. Oh no, that is not what the Queen Walkers wanted. Man, that is devastating. One red air bomb taking out all of the bats there and Gaku gonna do his best to try to get as much percentage points as possible here. Man, not the answer they were looking for. Devastating judo. Devastating indeed. I know how tight of a group the Queen Walkers are though. They talk to each other every single day as a team. So I'm sure after this attack, they will be coming together, having that little bit of team morale to make sure that for the final attacks, they can put up their best performance and hopefully get the job done here, trying to get any remaining percentage, but with only a 70%, it's actually advantage to Nova now, Banks. I, uh, I'm absolutely speechless. I feel like this is becoming a bit of a theme today because I was saying in the previous war, Ni Chang Dance must have heard us talking because then they opened up with a triple and now Nova Esports have just gone, hey Banks, hold my beer, because they just come in with a triple and then like you said, Bash, already, one thing, one bomb, one tiny little object on the map can ruin the entire attack. I couldn't believe it, Bash. And that was looking so strong, that bat wave came in, and as we see here in the replay, that one air bomb, oh no, almost all the bats down from one trap. You commit all that spell space, and you just get devastated in an instant. What a heartbreaker there, but now the door is wide open for Cuevas from Nova Esports, looking to respond with a drag bat of his own. Judo, this could be exactly what Nova needed. Wow, think about the risk that you have with the bats. We've just seen how much of a risk it is, but we always say high risk, high reward, and Nova feel that this base is susceptible to the drag bat. I noticed two air expos and two ground expos as well, Bash, but both sweepers to the northern area of the base. So this is interesting. We could assume the dragons are going to come in, obviously behind the sweepers. Look at this massive value from the heroes. The first scatter shot is down. That royal champion throwing her seeking shield. If she can get this other scatter. Oh, she barely does not get it. But it is barely hanging on there. And you're right. Here come those dragons starting the funnel up there at the 9 o'clock position. Queen's going to get one of those ground targeting bows. Can she get a shot or two on this queen? She's actually going to get the enemy queen all the way down. And we're going to have those dragons coming in from about the 7, 8 o'clock position here. And they're going to have a strong start. But the big risk here, it looks like we're going to try to fly a blimp all the way to the town hall with these dragons. Most likely we'll see that warden ability come in to get that blimp all the way in. Here it comes, Judo. Will the blimp get to the town hall? 
it has to pay off because the bats will not be able to get it. You've got to say that being a symmetrical base, it is brilliant to see the adaptions and just bringing the dragons into the left-hand side where the scattershot was. The battle blimp does get to the town hall with the rage. Once that's gone down, there's not a lot left and the bats should be able to clear here, Bash. Oh, this is looking absolutely beautiful for Nova. Just need, actually, the wizard towers are going to be locking onto these dragons. So the two remaining free spells may be extra here. It depends if that last dragon can hang on, but here come the bats, and they're going to have no problem getting through this base judo. The bats are raided in. Free spell goes down, and this one is going to be crushed for Cuevas. Nova Esports taking that lead, taking advantage of Queen Walker's falter, and here we go with the triple in response. Exactly what they needed. All the pressure on the Queen Walkers on this next attack. What an amazing identification for that drag bet. Great use of the blimp to get through. Judo, that was just a well-executed attack. A beautifully executed attack. The, dr the dragons are still alive. The bats do their job. And Quivos now has two three stars for Nova since he got the three star yesterday. The MVP for sure. And what a time to pull in a three star attack. That's exactly what they needed. You could not answer, ask for a better answer to that of Falter from Gaku. And this one was just really well done. The heroes were able to get so much value from their dive. They almost got both of the scatter shots. It only took one of Breath of the Dragon to take down that second scatter shot. The blimp gets all the way to the town hall, and that's exactly what they need. Now it'll be up to Queen Walkers to answer. Can Klaus come in and get the three star that they need? This must be a triple with them being down on percent. No pressure, Klaus, but let's see how your Lalo's gonna go. No pressure at all. They do need the three star now. If you move into the last attack and you are a star and percentage behind, you are asking a lot. You are really asking for your opponent to fail their attack. So this one means everything. Strap yourselves in. This is going to be one epic attack by Klaus, starting with the wall wrecker and the archer queen down towards the south of the base. The single is charging through that wall wrecker, but I think he's just used using it to tank initially and get the heroes in. Headhunter's coming out of the clan castle though, Bash. He's got to be careful here. Yeah, he ran three ice golems in that wall record. So he all he needed was the wall record to get through that wall and then he's gonna use those ice golems to help support this hero dive onto the town hall. The king's ability is going to get that enemy queen down. The king should have no problem getting the town hall down as well. The single inferno goes down. The queen disperses of all the lava pups. It's all on the line. Klaus, what do you have here with the final attack? Royal champion coming in at the 12 o'clock position, setting up that nice pathing for the balloons. And here we go, Judo. It's all going to come down to this Lalo phase. So many balloons, so many lava pups. Can he get through this base? He has set up a tremendous fun. Oh, but the Tesla that pops at the top of the base could be hugely impactful into the attack because that could draw some of the balloons out of the way. I'm sure that Klaus has seen that and we should have a little bit of an adaption there. We have balloons coming into it, but with the lava balloon now driving in from the right hand side, he has to get the spell placements right. Freezes the Eagle Artillery. We are battling into a sweeper, so it's not going to be the ideal path here, but they are trying their best. They're struggling though, Bash. Those balloons taken out by the scatter. Notice he does have that heal spell down, but those scatters are so deadly to the balloons. Here comes that Warden's Eternal Tome, but the Eagle is still up. We oh. still have that last remaining air defense, but there's nothing on the Eagle. Oh no, Judo. He has to get back to that Eagle somehow, and there are not enough balloons. This one is not going to be what they needed. Klaus going to fall short here. The balloons just ignored that eagle compartment with the bows in it, and that is going to crush this one. But the eagle still remaining as well. There won't be as much percent. Queen Walkers are going to need to look for a big defense on this final attack. They have to get that defense on the final attack to have any shot to come back and win this war. Wow. Yeah, they're going to need something special now. The balloons just didn't track through the base as he wanted. How crucial was it putting the balloons at the top there? Not what the Queen Walkers needed, Banks. 
No, indeed, Judo. That was a really tough break for the Queen Walkers. That was the attack that they needed to secure a triple in order to get back in the race. Nova Esports seeming to be running away with it. They came back swinging after a bit of a, a wonky start, you know, right there. So, uh, Bash, what are your predictions? What, what do you think that they're going to need to do? Do you think the defenses are obviously going to need to stay up for Queen Walkers, but Nova Esports' final attacker is, you know, coming in for this clutch? All Nova has to do is triple and they secure the victory, move on to that playoffs. Lots of pressure on this final attack for Nova. Remember, we've seen some really interesting things on these final attacks. We've even seen one stars. So it's all going to come down to Taytop here for Nova Esports. And it looks like we got a hybrid attack. And remember yesterday, Taytop used the hybrid for a three star judo. He did. And the interesting thing is when we interviewed the players, Taytop said that with every single loss, you have to learn something. And he was part of the Nova squad that we seen last month. So how much has he learned from that experience and can he pull it in in order to give them the victory in this war? Starting off with his funnel for the Queen, who is now walking up to the top area of the base. A couple of Hog Riders and the Baby Dragon to cut off the funnel over there. Nicely done. And with the Clan Castle troops coming out, it's a good confident start here for Nova. Yeah, the Queen's going to have no issue getting rid of the Clan Castle troops with that free spell on that Inferno Dragon. Ooh. And look at that Tornado Trap spinning yep. with oh, nothing no. in it. The Wall Breaker does get held up momentarily, but remember that Super oh. Wall Breaker. They're beefy. They get right on through there. Queen oh. now going to make her way towards that Town Hall. Freeze on the single Inferno, raging her up. She should have no issue getting through this Town Hall, getting through that single Inferno, and have a great path set up here for the Hybrid. He lost four healers from that area. I know that the Queen Walkers like to bait Queen entries and it's paid off for them. No healers, well, one healer left on the Queen, so she goes down. The one healer transfers to the hybrid. This is exactly what the Queen Charge uh, was not set to do. And it's exactly what the Queen Walkers needed. A big defense, but how far will the hybrid get? He has not got the value from the Archer Queen. The Hogs and the Miners charge on. They are actually doing a pretty good job though, Bash. The Archer Queen trying to do anything on defense. Three giant bombs, but with a heal spell there, Nova will move and continue to fight through this attack. Lots of stuff still up here, making sure to keep those troops healed up. The Royal Champion does finally go down. This is going to need to get a little bit more percentage, I believe, for Nova uh, with that opening that they had. But working into that 70% mark, I'm not sure it's going to be yep. enough to put this. I'm not sure. Oh, Judo, we're going to have to wait and see how the percents are looking. This could actually be close. If Queen Walkers can clutch up and get that final three star, this could actually be a lot closer of a war. 74%, 75 with this P.E.K.K.A. still strong. P.E.K.K.A. should be able to get maybe a few more buildings. Headhunter going to come in and help disperse of that Royal Champion. Oh my goodness. This I could think be it's anyone's enough. war. I don't know, Jim. I think to it's enough. 96.2%. That is a dominating percentage by Nova. Continuing to try and drive it up as high as possible, though. Queen Walkers can get themselves a three-star on the board, and then we can see what happens. But Nova have given themselves a commanding lead over the first four attacks. And all Queen Walkers can do is put a three-star up, and then we see what happens right at the end. Yeah, I think it's going to be close. It might be just out of reach for the Queen Walkers. Nova getting that last attack in there for a 79% two-star, putting up 12 stars against the Queen Walkers for a final tally of 92.8%. Queen Walkers have to triple here to give themselves any kind of hope. Uh, we'll have to see what they pull out on their final attack. You got to go all in here, Judo. You got to put it all on the line. You do, and even if they go down in this war, remember, they will still be battling later on today, so they can still gain, gain their confidence with this attack. Confirmation that Nova have indeed won this one. They will be moving forward, but Yuda14 wants to pick up his confidence after yesterday's attack, sending in the battle blimp down to the south area of the base bash. Yeah, the, the battle blimp's gonna come and pull out that clan castle, set up for the heroes to dive in. I was hoping we would have a shot here for a three star to win it. Oh man, but unfortunately the percentage is just gonna be out of reach is what we're hearing. Uh, the queen's gonna come in here and disperse of these 
the Lava Hound, but look at that. We got the healers being targeted, so we're gonna have to force out a couple of balloons here just to make sure those healers don't get taken out. And here we go, that Lava Hound is popping. The King is coming in. Yuta wanna finish strong. Remember, we had that really, really dicey attack from Yuta yesterday, missing the Clan Castle and uh, almost missing the star, honestly. It was a close attack, but here we go. The Queen's gonna charge in here, get out the Town Hall. You definitely wanna end with the three star. Build that momentum. They will go down to that bottom bracket. They are not out of it yet. This is, they can still qualify, but Nova will move on and play tomorrow for their chance at the golden ticket. Here we go with the Queens working towards that town hall and looking like a great queen charge and nice pathing getting set up here, Judo. Oh, beautiful. The super wall breaker allows the queen to walk through into the next compartment, next level stuff by Yuda 14. We mentioned picking up his confidence, but this player has all the experience in the world. He was at the world finals last year, and I know for a fact that he will not let it phase him. Uses the freeze to stop his healers being vulnerable. He will get the town hall easily this time and then move on. The healers actually just made it through didn't they bash but it looks <laughs> they a lot are better and up. he will now be sending in the lava loon this is definitely more confidence than yesterday yeah definitely not so much sketchiness on this attack that queen charge is massive look at this queen go she's gonna go for the whole base by wow. herself here judo wow over 55 percent two star from the heroes alone and here comes the lala we just got up the ego artillery a few wizard towers and that final scatter shot but notice in that final compartment where the balloons are going to work towards there's the enemy queen and that single target inferno we've seen the enemy queen be such a factor on these lalo attacks can she stop it in its track let's see what yuda has working through here get gets the warden's ability in and trying to get that scatter shot down before it takes out these packs of balloons yeah he's sending the minions in to try and get it as fast as possible but the balloons are taking a lot of damage irrespective of the three star i think we can give massive respect to yuda 14. we know why they are called the queen walkers that was incredible powering into the center of the base it's not going to be enough but bash what an incredible attack that queen charge was epic the most massive queen charge i think we've seen yet banks what in a war these two teams fought it out to the very end Yes, two incredible wars to kick off uh, day two of the qualifiers. But uh, you know what? Like you've already said, Judo, massive respect to Yuta14 because he definitely came out swinging there, almost with a point to prove, I think, for the Queen Walkers due to his uh, previous little dicey attack that he said that Bash said earlier. But yes, congratulations to Nova Esports. They will be advancing into the playoffs tomorrow with 12 stars to 11 with a 92.8% average there. The 